Hi guys, this is Harsh again and today we are going to learn something new about blogging. So today I'm going to talk about how to set a FeedBurner account for your WordPress blog. Uh, that's basically a uh, FeedBurner is a free service by Google which will let you do many things to your feed. Basically uh, the default feed which WordPress offers, it's not very uh, readable and more, more, moreover you can't use those feed on every uh, feed readers. So FeedBurner feed is one of those services that I highly recommend you to try. It's a free service by Google so you don't have to pay anything. So I'll just quickly show you an example from my blog. So that's how my feed looks. And since I uh, and you can see I also monetize it with Google AdSense. So that's another advantage of using FeedBurner. And the major advantage which you'll get with FeedBurner that your user can subscribe via email. They can subscribe via uh, feed uh, services they are using uh, like I'm using net news wire here so similarly they can use any feed reader so that's how that's how it works so in this example I'm quickly going to show you how you can set up feed burner account for yourself you just need to go to feedburner.google.com and log in via your Google account and go to the bottom and here you need to enter your website address click on next So it will give you um, options for the default feed which uh, FeedBurner will find. So uh, in this case or in most of the cases when you're dealing with WordPress blog, this will be the feed address. Click on next. And yes, sometimes you might get an error, no feed has been found. That's basically happens when you are creating feed for a new blog and when there is zero blog post. So make sure you have a blog, uh, you have at least one post. Now click on next. So it might take few seconds. Now that, here's something interesting that you can always edit it later but uh, let me quickly explain you the very first thing that uh, you should always mention what your blog is all about in the feed. Feed title that's very important. So here you can see like I have how to blog shout me loud and that's uh, basically help readers to identify what your feed is all about plus uh, when people are using feed recommendation channel they will get more recommendation based on the keyword you are using so now he and feed address I would recommend you to stick to your brand brand and brand like for example I use shout me loud everywhere whenever I'm creating Twitter account my Facebook fan page and my feed burner account so similarly uh, that same goes for your feed burner account click on next And that's it. Uh, your feed is live here and you can see here. Now we'll be making few more changes. Uh, we'll be activating few services. So I'll quickly show you how you can do. Uh, okay, you, here you can also configure advanced tracking like uh, if you're using Google Analytics and you want to track how many people are clicking your feed items. So this is something very useful in this case. So I'll enable both of these services. Click on next. And now I am on the dashboard of my FeedBurner account. Now I'll be making, I'll be doing few things like uh, I'll be going to optimize. So this service is active. It's very important. So I would recommend you should uh, activate this service. Again, smart feed is something which is very important because it will make your feed compatible to many feed reader and then I'll quickly go to publishize and enable email subscription service that's a free service and it's highly recommended that you should have an email subscription box I use FeedBurner plus Aweber because Aweber, Aweber I get more control but we'll talk about that in some other video so quickly, quickly go ahead and activate the service Now here you can uh, configure a few things um, that's your time zone and then time on at what time you actually want people to read your feed uh, feed should be delivered it's very important for you so I'll select 4 to 5 p.m. that's uh, an ideal time in my time zone 3 to 5 is perfect 
click on save. Now, if you have, um, once your feed, people start subscribing to your feed, you might like to show off your the number people are uh, the number of people who have subscribed to your feeds. I would not rec recommend using it until you have at least 500 subscribers. So once you have it, go ahead, click activate the feed count service. Again, everything is free, so you don't you don't need to worry about any charges or anything. And that's it. Now you can also monetize it via AdSense. You can go. Uh, you need to log into AdSense account and uh, enable AdSense for feeds. Uh, we'll talk about that in upcoming video. Uh, for now, uh, your feed is ready. This is your feed address. You can go to publicize email subscription and grab um, code for the email subscription. You can use plugin like WP Mash Social for WordPress, which is very easy, which will help you to quickly integrate feed um, email subscription and feed burner service on your blog. So pretty much that's it for now. If you have any question, feel free to ask me via comment. Thank you for watching.